guys I wanted to stop and take a quick minute we've just got done spraying this uh, bean field with some roundup roundup ready beans actually these are real world beans um, but we've been getting a lot of questions here around mid-july specifically about herb herbicides for food plots uh, which herbicides to pair uh, specifically with plot boost uh, depending on your seed selection and what you've actually planted in these plots um, this won't take long quick video three main types of herbicides that we're going to be using for food plots one your broad uh, broad spectrum kill all herbicide which is your roundup your glyphosate you're going to be using this to clear the plot off or if you're using roundup ready beans like eagle beans or uh, real world beans you're going to be spraying that and of course you mix the plot boost in uh, per acre uh, you'll be doing the roundup ounces per gallon but you'll be doing the plot boost um, per the acre your next herbicide would be your grass selective herbicide if these weren't roundup ready beans we'd be using grass selective herbicide if we had a lot of grasses in here um, and you can also use this on your clover or your alfalfa anything that's a broadleaf food plot that you want to kill grasses out of and you're going to find these under uh, post select arrest and the active ingredients in those are clethodim and cethoxidim uh, the next herbicide would be your broadleaf selective herbicide and this is going to be under the name pursuit um, slay and butyrac 200 uh, 24db and uh, th that's for use in clover, uh, alfalfa, beans, anything that you need to kill broadleaves out of but you don't want to harm the broadleaf food plot. Um, so any broadleaf species in clover, um, any broadleaf species in alfalfa, again any broadleaf species in beans. And um, by spraying a combination of the clethodim or the cethoxidim, your grass selective herbicide, your broadleaf selective herbicide, uh, in species like clover you'll basically nuke everything except for the clover um, so those are the three herbicides we generally use the broad kill all the broadly selective and the grass selective herbicides now you any of these herbicides any food plot species you're going to spray you can always have some herbicide damage especially if you're spraying in the middle of the day and you kind of burn up your leaves and that's where plot boost comes in you're going to be mixing plot boost by the acre although you're going to be mixing these uh, ounces per gallon You'll be mixing the plot boost by the acre for what you're spraying and that will fight the effects of herbicide burn or herbicide drag on the yield or the attractiveness of the plot as well as boost the individual plant health and uh, if you spray these plots with plot boost or a plot start um, that plot boost will make all those nutrients that are readily available in the soil get up in those plants faster so that's the herbicide uh, we got a blog click on the blog with more information more detailed all these names that i just talked about and comment below if you have any questions